If you're looking to reduce your risk of getting prostate cancer, one area is the use of vitamins, herbs, and supplements. There's a lot of hype in the media and in magazines that are promoting different products that suggest both of these are helpful in reducing the risk of this disease. The question is whether or not that's true. And in an effort to find out, the government sponsored a large prospective study in which men were given either vitamin E, selenium, a placebo, or both vitamin E and selenium. And then they were followed to see if there was a reduction in the development of prostate cancer. After a little bit more than five years of following more than half the patients, the study has been discontinued because the findings do not show any possible benefit of taking either or both of these supplements in lowering your risk of getting this disease. Now, the study has some potential limitations. It was started using men who were at least 55 years old. So an obvious question is whether giving it to younger men would have a better chance of helping. Maybe you need to be on it for many more years. That wouldn't be known unless another study was done. Another concern has to do with the source and dose of vitamin E and selenium that were used. Some people have suggested that a different source or a different dose might have had a better effect. And although those are, although those are reasonable concerns, the truth is that without a proper study, we'll never know the answer. For the moment, the best advice to, is to say to you that neither vitamin E nor selenium, either taken alone or together, is going to reduce your risk of getting prostate cancer. Now, what's the harm? Could you be any, any side effects as a result of doing this? Well, there was a slightly higher incidence of diabetes in those people taking the selenium. And we know from other studies that there's a growing concern that vitamin E increases the risk of bleeding in the brain. So don't assume that herbs, vitamins, and supplements are without any possible harm. There is a trade-off. And without knowing the right dose and without having proof that something actually works, the best advice to you is to withhold taking these supplements until there is clear scientific proof that they will be in your best interest.